There are two really big issues here. There is sustainable transport, which means that we get away from our problems of carbon and oil depletion. Uh, and there is also urban mobility, which means that we allow our cities to continue living and breathing. And those two things together you know, represent a really exciting challenge. One of the aspects that's going to change in the future is we can't just design cars with no reference to the environment. We're going to need a number of changes to the, uh, power, gener in the power generation sector. A move away from fossil fuels towards renewable alternatives is essential to lower the amount of CO2 per kilowatt hour. And electric vehicles are important because as we green the grid, electric vehicles become more efficient in terms of carbon. You save something like 40% of the CO2 by using electricity even from the UK grid as it stands compared with using um, a fossil fueled vehicle. As we move forward going to renewable energies then uh, that 40% will, will increase and we'll be saving an awful lot more. In terms of Arapand and the big idea that the, it is to be able to develop truly sustainable transport solutions so that isn't just about a single technology but it is about how to integrate the best technology and use it to the best advantages. Arup is managing a, 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 the largest project in the UK which is called Cabled which is aiming to put 110 electric vehicles on the road and we've put the consortium together where we've got a number of manufacturers, we have network providers, we have city councils, we have universities. At the moment it's really about trying to understand the impact that driving an electric vehicle has on your driving habits and then to inform how future technology and infrastructure deployment can support just general members of the public as we move towards using electric vehicles every day. The cabled uh, demonstration project is obviously looking at uh, personal transport and the decarbonisation of personal transport. As well as doing objective data gathering on the vehicles, we're also undertaking surveys and questionnaires with the users to understand how they felt working with the electric vehicles as well as looking at dedicated charging points at home and at your place of work, we'll also be studying where are the most useful places in the public realm to put charging points, such as supermarkets, shopping centres or even the cinema. Given that the range of the vehicles at the moment is about 100 kilometres and the average journey in the UK is 14 kilometres, even with today's technology, electric vehicles are already ideal for the majority of people's urban journeys. It's important those vehicles go on the road so that car users can see them and understand that they are a practical alternative to fossil fueled vehicles. Transport is all about operating as a system and actually the opportunities for the future are how do you in truly integrate the vehicle into the infrastructure surrounding the buildings and the people's needs. It presents a sufficiently big challenge to give us the opportunity to think about a lot of things from scratch. There's a huge uh, potential for the transport planners and the urban designers and the vehicle designers and the energy developers, all of these people uh, coming together in some way over the next few years as we try and navigate our way through to a lower carbon society.